Greetings everyone, the Good Sir Knight here, and today we are going to be doing a review on the Tactical Taylor 40mm Grenade Bandolier. Now if you could come a bit closer. Right, lighting, so. What we have here is, as you can see, 40mm grenade pouch by Tactical Taylor Incorporated. Lot number, a lot of good information. So, what this basically lets us do is it bandoliers on up you got your little nexus buckle here you've got the extra material double loose back here and goes to this little piece and then you can uh, electrical tape the rest and it holds 12 grenades now for these little loops as you can see a little magic tape system here a little velcro and it's got this super intense military grade elastic now how this works is on your 40 millimeter grenade using this one as an example there's of course a little nubby there slide the grenade on in like so and then you close it over top and you do that with 12 grenades now what are the problems you're going to encounter well the only problem I've truly encountered is due to my bloodline and genetics if I decide to use this as an actual belt, let's say. Wrap this around here. Now, on your general concept, move this down. As you can see, it fits nicely in the dump pouch here, so you can still dump things. And as the grenade moves about, yeah, the other grenades are going to get a bit of the way in the dump pouch, but hey, that's cool. Where you run into problems, it's going to be on this back side. Now, were I an underwear model, this wouldn't be a problem, but I am not. And generally, these little extra bits of elastic will catch up on anything and everything, like your plate carrier. So, that being said, we're actually going to throw that on and see how the grand interaction goes. Plate carrier has been donned. Glasses back on. Alright, so, grenade accessible here. Ignore these ones. This is my uh, general setup with the Spectre gear. We have a grenade here. And we've got our little assault pack. Not everyone's going to have one of those, but definitely your plate carrier. Now, the problem is, when they're snow grenade, actually, yeah, it's still, it's catching a little bit. Not a lot. But there's still going to be a bit of rub and everything. Mild problems, not a huge issue, but still, for grenades. Pop this up through here. And ready. So, it's not too bad. It does work. It is a viable system. And with the uh, BDS dump pouch, since it can hang relatively low, you can keep all your grenades on here without any problems. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a grenade in here. And the problem with wearing it on your hip is that pretty much anything can go wrong. So, grenades in there. Although, mind you, Tactical Kit Taylor is made for a uh, going out and doing real military things and not so much airsoft so they're not gonna take the same things into concern like how the button could be pressed or anything like that or the fact that with a shower shell the BBs are exposed downwards and with nothing to catch it if the shell goes off explosion at your feet so you probably don't want to be wearing this in the safe zone in the event that something goes catastrophically wrong on that side we have a grenade here it's still accessible underneath our IFAC and as we rotate it around a little bit of rub, a little bit more rotate. You can see it's catching. The little Velcro patch here catches on the, uh, not so much the plate carrier as much as it's catching on the assault pack. So, if you have any hydration, something to take into account. If you have less of a fantastic rear end, perhaps not so. Here, definitely from dead center, it's going to rub a bit on the assault pack, but not a huge issue. And rotate around, bit in the way of the dump pouch, not a huge issue. And all in all, it's generally where we need it. So, that being taken into account, the belt is usable. You can carry your grenades either in front of you or behind you, so that it really depends on what you're trying to do. Now, mind you, this is for more war fighting, which will be extended period, less uh, running around and crawling or the crazy stuff, whereas how we have this set up, 
It's, if it's in the front, you're going to have a hard time going prone. It's going to get in the way of your crouchy, crouching. So if it's behind you, then it's out of the way of crouching, but I guess it could bump into your assault pack or anything crazy. So it really comes down to you. So particularly within the back. Now, the other thing it does is if you don't extract it, it'll actually take the cap of your uh, fly shells like this, 40 millimeter. But yeah, it does fit nicely there. Now the other thing, an alternative way, is that I've also seen people wear it with the grenades facing upwards. Now, I can speculate as to why, and the guess is that it's faster to reload, and maybe the Velcro is out of the way. We'll find out here soon enough. So we take this. Now the downside airsoft-wise is that considering the grenade goes off at the press of a button, you're probably going to want to be wearing full seal safety gear the entire time. You're never going to want to wear this belt inside the safety zone. Now, grenade is located here, facing upwards. It's unique, so the benefit here is once you undo that, it slides out downwards, which makes it easier to load, presumably. But yeah, it's in there, and we're going to do our rotation test again. So, grenade goes around. And around, it's up at the front. It's not causing a lot of problems because it's facing upwards now, so it's less in the way of the crouching. They will get a grenade real up in the button against your belly button. Left side, probably the easiest to pull the grenade from. Let me just get the final adjustment there. Shit's in there right now, alright. As we come around the back, how does it fare? Well, it's kind of on the dump pouch. And everything's gone wrong. Everything has already gone wrong. Ah. So yeah, definitely does not like the assault pack here. Actually, we can just conclude it's not going to go over too well. So, as a belt, perhaps not the most efficient. However, we can sling this together and you can wear it, presumably, over underneath one shoulder. So you'd want to definitely loosen this up quite a considerable bit considerable bits here. Let's try that actually. We're gonna give this a shot. So you can wear it underneath one arm. You'll have a ton of grenades available and they'll just sort of sit where they fall. And as you need them, you'll be able to go, oh, need a grenade. You have to kind of struggle it out of here a bit though. But with all that taken into account, they kind of look like a gnarly pirate this way. But yeah, with all that taken into account, Still got your riffle. And yeah, up here, you go, you go pop up, grab this, force that up and out, and load. So it's doable. It's not entirely out of control. We can get it to work. Although with the extra weather grenades, they're probably going to dig into your neck a bit, which is generally a fun sling problem as well. But yeah, not too bad. The other super tactical way I've seen this done is you actually load it with grenades. You hang them. This is going to be all sorts of complicated because you need to get this basically around your back. I don't even know if this is possible. But you wrap it. Ugh. Around here. Come on. He's gonna fight me the entire way, of course. But these are just options. Because if you're gonna get it, you gotta make sure you can carry everything you're going to need. So wrap that around there. And of course, assuming it's already filled with grenades, you can. Oh, that's tight. Oh, lordy, that is tight. You can wrap it around your chest like so and then of course you still have the grenades hanging they sit above the magazines they sit above the IFAC that actually probably sit a bit lower preferably yeah struggle with this a bit more these are just ideas people just crazy delirious ideas of the madman actually this is probably gonna be my favorite way so far 
for whatever that's worth. Yeah, really loosen. Okay, so it sits arguably loose. We could have our grenades all sitting here. Let's try that actually. Ah. My just is also gonna depend on if you're even wearing a chest rig. If you're just wearing like a leg panel and a dump pouch, and this might actually work out pretty well for you. Okay, so we've got our singular grenade. Rotate it around. Grenade sits under arm out of way. Rotate it around. Where's it going? Uh oh. Yep, there it is. So, it gets a, this adventure. And it looks like it's gonna get caught on our assault pack. So, the assault pack is the linchpin here. Basically, the assault pack is gonna get in the way of everything related to this grenade belt. Well, that's not too bad. And the other addition is, as long as you have your grenades here, if you're going, you get into cover, you go, boom, you go, okay, cool, we'll use these grenades. It's like, oh, well, I can't reach my grenades. But you're pretty much gonna be like, okay, well, we're gonna hold this position a bit here. And pop this off. Free up your grenade belt. And now you have access to all your grenades on the fly. Albeit, it's not, it's not a perfect system, but it does give you the ability to carry both grenades. Now, as I was mentioning earlier, since the grenades do have a tendency to go off with the press of a button, it's problematic. Because the second you take this into the safe zone, you're a ticking tie bomb. If you just bump your elbow a little on something the wrong way. Now with the Spec Ops one, you can see their coverage is not as big of an issue. Of course, if you're going for speed and using actual 40mm explosives, this is a great solution. However, airsoft-wise, due to the construction of the grenade and the fact that grenades don't have a safety, you're uh, kind of limited in your options. So, great idea, great concept, love tactical tailor gear, made in America. As for using this in airsoft, it's a great idea to carry a bunch of extra grenades. It's kind of like a team thing if you don't have an assault pack or anything crazy that's going to get in the way. So a more smaller hydro pack or something. So, take into account the gear you're going to be running and then kind of weigh that against the pros and cons of this grenade belt bandolier. But yeah, I do like it. It is definitely a solid purchase to make. They're not terribly expensive either, so... Although there's not a huge, massive use for these in the civilian market due to the, uh, well, difficulty with obtaining 40 millimeter grenades for some reason. But yeah, other than that, Pretty gnarly if you guys want to get a nice close look at it and everything. They do come in tan and black, and I think multi cam as well. But yeah, each one of these has the vel the uh, the elastic and the velcro, so and it's adjustable, as you saw earlier. And you can get it to fit people of all sizes and everything. So solid buckle and everything. So that will cover our uh, quick little first impressions review sort of setup. It is a great idea. I do like it. Although, as far as airsoft-wise, for the most part, I'm going to generally be sticking with the uh, Spec Ops pouches and preferably get another one for the front up here. Although, on the days where I can't just run... If I can, I want to get a uh, Grey Ghost Gear magazine bandolier. And then I'll just carry this and my dump pouch. And I'll probably be like my summer setup to keep the, uh, the heat off. Because dehydration kills in the uh, wise, wise words of my camelback hydrate or die and that's all I got for you it's uh, it's beautiful I do like it so hopefully this review has helped make you has helped fill any intelligence gaps so that you may make a informed decision so we'll see I'll probably use it might not we'll see it'll definitely for the uh, hotter weather days after I get an another chest bandolier so cheers everyone stay chivalrous see you in the next video also, support your local causes. Cheers, everyone.